I was quite the hypocrite beforehand. I didn't realize how much trouble I was getting those children into when I was putting them in jail for marijuana. Pot has long been associated with negative stereotypes about its effects on the human body. In recent years, the government of Canada has granted certain individuals the right to use it medicinally. Alison Murden suffers from multiple sclerosis, and weed helps her cope. I've been growing marijuana as medicine for about 15 years. Before I got it on prescription, as I said, from a particular doctor that I saw in 1995. And then when I got my license in the year 2000, I also got a possession license and a grow license at the same time. Allison was kind enough to walk us to the grow room on the second floor of her home. Many people suffering from multiple sclerosis often experience extremely painful muscle spasms. Allison is no different, but has been able to find some peace. Medical marijuana is gaining more popularity amongst people suffering from a variety of debilitating diseases. It seems today that more and more people are getting prescribed the drug, but how long will it be until marijuana is truly accepted as a medical remedy? The only reason I'm up and out of bed is be and off of 32 pills a day. I'm down two-thirds of my pills now because, because I'm smoking marijuana. Although Allison smokes pot around the clock, she still must take a variety of other medications to alleviate her daily pain. Allison, a retired corrections officer, is spreading her message through a group called LEAP, Law Enforcement Against Prohibition, who believe... We have to have it as medicine and have to have it avail available to people in this country that are suffering and that are in need. So far, only patients in extreme cases have been granted the right to use marijuana. It is still a long road ahead for medical pot in Canada, but the journey continues. Evan Buchanan, Burlington.